previous video titled Gar Origins, Blatant of the Mongols, I have mentioned about an MPhil dissertation submitted by Mahmoud Hassan to the University of Dhaka titled Genetic Polymorphisms on Y Chromosomal Haplotype STL Loci in Garo and Sandal Population in Bangladesh. In his dissertation, he highlighted that the Garos have a close blood relation with the Khalkha Mongols. The other important thing to note is the presence of the Y chromosome DNA haplogroup CM217, also known as C2, and previously known as C3. The haplogroup CM217 is found at high frequencies among Central Asian peoples, indigenous Siberians, and some Native Americans. Males belonging to the Buryats, the Evans, the Evangs, the Etelmans, the Kalmaks, the Kazakhs, the Koryaks, the Mongols, the Negidils, the Nivuks, the Uregis, and the Ulchis have high levels of M217. This is the same haplogroup which the significant percentage of the Garos also possess. Regarding the CM217 haplogroup, there is another common aspect to it which I will highlight next. It's the common earth diver creation myth. There are several versions of the earth diver myth, but the version in which the last diver succeeds after the failure of the earlier divers dates back to the Paleolithic age. The earth diver creation myth of the Garros can be found in the 1909 book The Garros, compiled by Alan Playfair. The creator Tatar Rabuga entrusted the lesser spirit Nostu Nopantu for the task. Nostu Nopantu first sent a giant crab to fetch some clay from the primordial waters. The crab failed. Next, another smaller crab was also sent. The crab also failed. Lastly, it was the dung beetle which managed to fetch some clay with which Nostu Nopantu created the earth called Manipulde. <laughs> This version of the creation story is the most widespread amongst the Native Americans too. And this version of the Earth Diver story originated in Siberia. Now comes the interesting part. This version of the Earth Diver story is associated with the people of the haplogroup C3 which is currently known as CM217 or C2. This art diverse story isn't just exclusive to the Garos in South and Southeast Asia. Similar stories exist amongst the Baigas, the Cheros, the Gons, the Kachins, the Mismis, the Mundes, the Rounds, the Santals, the Semangs, the Sans, the Soras, the Tarus, and many others which I have not listed here. So it is easy and logical to assume that the Garos borrowed the story from one of his neighbors. But then, who possesses the haplogroup C M217? The Garo migration story from Tibet is widely known, but there is a story before Tibet. I am borrowing an article preserved by the Nuru Mande Heritage Society, Tura. Most of the content of the article was written earlier in the vernacular magazine dating back to the 60s or the 70s. But here I have the recently translated version. According to the Garo legend, Nuru Mande was created in Asong Chabria Chigu Op Surima, which is literally the land of Siberia, the source of river Op. It was during the 102nd generation from Nuru Mande that the Garos migrated from Siberia to Mongolia. However, this isn't the only record where Russia or Siberia is mentioned in Garo folklore. In the 1960 work by Devan Singh Rongmatu, titled The Folklore of the Garos, there is a mention about a certain place called Sirit, which is in Asiatic Russia. All this time, we've been told that the Garos came from Tibet. And of course, a group of Garos did come from Tibet. But there was a story before Tibet. <laughs> 